With the exponential growth of industries that use 3D software, we have seen a lot of programs compete to be used by artists and studios in many industries such as game development, VFX, advertising and much more. In this video, we will give you the big picture overview of 3D packages that are industry standard in addition to the most commonly used software that are necessary to complement the main 3D software in the professional production pipeline. Making video games The process of making video games goes through many processes and needs different tools to create video game assets that will be later exported to a game engine. Maya. Maya is industry standard in the video game industry and this has been the case for many years now. It is being used by a big portion of studios in this industry because it is a complete 3D package that can do many things like modeling, UV unwrapping, baking, rigging, animation and much more. Maya is especially important in video game projects because it has a fantastic set of animation and rigging tools which makes it one of the pillars of this industry. 3ds Max 3ds Max is also a very popular software when it comes to making video games because it has been used to create many AAA video game titles in the last 20 years or so. It is a mix of good modeling and animation tools that can help you to create all kinds of video game assets, that's why it is still around even though it is probably one of the oldest 3D software on this list. Motto even though Motto is not popular as 3ds Max or Maya is as a 3D package, it is a fantastic 3D software with many valuable tools that can help video game artists to model characters and environments in addition to doing animation. Houdini Side effects Houdini is not exactly like the other software that we just talked about, at least it does not operate like them because it is highly procedural and works using nodes and coding which can be complicated at times but it is used in the video game industry to pull off huge tasks like creating huge and rich environments using its fantastic tools which can save studios a lot of time and money. 3D Sculpting Software In addition to modeling and animation, which is what software such as 3ds Max and Maya are good at, to create complex and visually stunning video game characters, we need to use a specialized sculpting software such as ZBrush, which is the industry standard because it offers 3D artists great tools, high-level functionality, and a good feel and sculpting experience like no other program at the moment. ZBrush is dominating the department of sculpting almost completely, but there are some other software that can do this job nonetheless. Software such as Modbox from Autodesk, which is good and way cheaper compared to ZBrush. Also 3D Code, which is a good sculpting software that can do many things. Texturing and Painting Software The major 3D packages like Max and Maya are severely lacking when it comes to painting and texturing 3D models and characters. Artists tend to use specialized software such as Substance Painter, which is the industry standard by a big margin compared to the other painting and texturing tools because it is not expensive, it is easy to use, and it helps you to create fantastic looking stuff. It is now basically being used by a big portion of AAA video game studios, and there is also Substance Designer from the same company, which is being used to create custom materials. In this category, we also have a Quixel Mixer from Megascans, which has been acquired recently by Epic Games to be used for free in integration with their free and powerful game engine called Unreal Engine. Mixer is a fantastic texturing application that can help you texture pretty much anything. VFX for film and television With the growth of the demand of VFX work in films and TV shows in the last decade, the visual effects industry is growing like never before. Houdini Houdini right now is being used by many studios in this industry due to its high competence in this field because it has very powerful tools that allow VFX artists to achieve basically anything. Its procedural workflow is very unique and powerful in addition to having enough flexibility to give studios confidence to change results even deep into production. Maya Maya is also a very important 3D package because it has been developed over the years to be able to rise to the demand of this industry. Maya has good modeling, animation, simulation and effect tools that can be considered a good asset for studios. In addition to that, it can rely on third-party plugins if necessary. 3ds Max Autodesk 3ds Max is also one of the pillars of the visual effects industry because it was and it is still being used by major VFX studios. 
One thing I would say is different from Maya or Houdini when it comes to visual effects, 3ds Max is highly dependent on third-party plugins in this industry, but Autodesk lately is trying to develop its native tools when it comes to effects and simulation nonetheless. Cinema 4D Cinema 4D is being used to create visual effects in film and TV shows because it excels at few things compared to the other 3D packages, which is motion graphics. Cinema 4D was used to work on many films in the last 20 years or so, but it is fantastic with motion graphics, that's why it was used in films such as Iron Man, Tron Legacy, Pacific Rim, and much more. ZBrush as we said before, standard 3D packages need sculpting software, especially to create CGI characters and creatures in movies. And as it has been always the case, ZBrush is the industry standard in this department because it can be used to sculpt characters and monsters with tens of millions of polygons while maintaining a high degree of stability and allowing artists to focus on creative aspects of the project rather than being slowed down by technical problems. Mari. We said that Substance Painter is industry standard in painting and texturing in the video game industry, but Mari is the industry standard when it comes to VFX. It does not mean that Substance Painter is not being used in this type of work, but Mari is just far superior and can meet the demand of most complex painting jobs in this industry, and you must learn it if you want to work professionally on films or TV shows in the future if you are not doing that already. Making Commercials for making TV commercials or CG advertising in general, all major 3D packages are being used but two 3D packages are favored in this industry and those are Cinema 4D and Houdini. Cinema 4D Cinema 4D is generally speaking easy to use and highly equipped with the necessary tools for this type of work, especially its fantastic tool set of motion graphics, which is the number one reason why it is very important in making commercials. Houdini Houdini is also industry standard for advertising because, first of all, it is fantastic when it comes to visual effects and animation, in addition to its ability to create complex motion graphics, but it is not as easy as Cinema 4D. Creating animation movies Most major 3D packages are good when it comes to animation, but the industry standard in this category and the best choice for animators and animation studios at the moment is Autodesk Maya because, as we said before, its biggest point of strength is its fantastic rigging and animation tools. It is being used by many animation studios, but the major animation studios develop their own animation software sometimes. Over the last decade, Maya has played a role in countless best animated features like Disney's nominee Wreck-It Ralph in 2013 and their Oscar winning Frozen in 2014 and Oscar winner Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse in 2019. Architecture and Engineering If you are interested in 3D modeling in design and engineering fields, then there are actually dedicated 3D software that can help you to do that. For example, when it comes to architecture, AutoCAD is industry standard even though it is mainly a 2D design software that can be used to create 2D plans that will be exported to a 3D software such as SketchUp, 3ds Max or Cinema 4D to generate buildings, 3D models, textures, and then doing final renders. This is called architectural visualization, and 3ds Max and Cinema 4D are excellent at this work, and they have been the open source choice for many designers and design firms, especially 3ds Max because it is easy to use and it has good modeling and rendering tools for visualization projects. In addition to that, it is popular in this field and it has endless amounts of resources when it comes to learning or working on projects. Also when it comes to computer-aided design or CAD, there are many 3D modeling software to choose from. For example, SolidWorks, Inventor, and Fusion 360, just to name a few. They are all good and can be used for different purposes and to achieve different results. They can be used to create complex assemblies of mechanical or electrical devices or machines, they are more accurate than the other 3D packages like Max or Maya because they are mainly used by engineers and designers, and they are easier to use in comparison. We mentioned many industry standard 3D software in this video, so if you are new to 3D in general, or if you want to work in a certain field that requires using 3D software, you need to choose your tools accordingly to increase your chances of being employed or working with companies or studios working in this industry. It is true that 3D software are useful, 
only as skilled as the user is. But there are some agreed upon 3D software by the industry that you need to learn. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, please leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next one.